Hi there, my name is Sophie Rock. I graduated from UBC in 2021 with a major in international relations and a minor in Asian language and culture with a focus on Korea. UBC's Department of Asian Studies was one of the main reasons I actually chose to come to UBC. I knew before starting university that I wanted to study Korean in an academic sense so that I could take my proficiency hopefully out of the classroom and one day into the workforce and into real life. I also knew that I wanted to go on exchange and take my learning abroad to really concrete that learning and build that foundation um, in a real life and practical sense. The great news was, was that UBC's Department of Asian Studies had these opportunities and also had really robust uh, language programs coupled and complemented with awesome Asian Studies course offerings in all different regions that focus on history, culture, uh, language, politics, you name it, they had it. So it was kind of an easy decision for me to come to UBC and to study uh, UBC's Department of Asian Studies. Learning a foreign language is undoubtedly one of the most challenging things you can do. Uh, learning a foreign language is a constant stream of learning. There's never going to be a point in time where I won't be a student of Korean. But with this constant learning comes tons and tons of growth, not just in terms of grammar uh, and vocabulary, but also in terms of other experiences like being comfortable in uncomfortable situations, uh, perseverance and commitment. Learning Korean not only widened the avenues of communication and broadened the audiences I'm able to communicate with, but it also provided me the opportunity to gain that confidence that comes with challenging yourself in a completely new realm of learning. Getting to spend a year in South Korea was undoubtedly the most uh, impactful experience I had. It gave me the opportunity to put to test all that I had learned challenged the norms I had built in my head and put me in a territory I was completely unfamiliar with and all I had to rely on were my foundations in Asian studies. This really pushed me personally, uh, but also being forced to communicate effectively in a language I was still very much a student of uh, really increased my language learning by tenfold. If you are lucky enough to have the opportunity to study abroad, the initial discomfort is far outweighed by the benefits that you get to experience. For the past four years, the Department of Asian Studies has been my home away from dorm and now my home away from home. Even in my post-grad career, I find myself coming back to the department on many, many occasions. And I'm so grateful for all of the learning and experiences I've gotten to have uh, while living here in Vancouver on this unceded territory. 